In October 2018, Ippolit Bodunov landed in Toronto with suspicious carry-on luggage. A border dog alerted, agents searched the bag, and found nearly 5,000 living, wriggling leeches. It wasn't a one-off. In 2021, a man was caught trying to move about 4,000 leeches across borders without permits. The reason is equal parts medicine and history. These weren't random pond parasites, but medicinal leeches, Hyruto verbana, long used for bloodletting. In humoral medicine, illness came from imbalanced bodily fluids, so removing blood was thought to restore health. Leeches were ideal. They drink 5 to 10 milliliters per feed and inject hirudin, an anticoagulant that keeps wounds bleeding for hours. Then the 19th century turned leeches into a craze. French physician Francois Brousset promoted them as a near-universal cure for fevers, and demand exploded. Hospitals used tens of thousands annually, and France imported tens of millions. Collectors waded into marshes as bait, stripping leeches from their own legs. Wetland drainage and over-harvesting crashed populations, pushing the species toward rarity and protection in parts of Europe. Ironically, leeches return to legitimacy in modern reconstructive surgery, where they relieve blood congestion and help salvage delicate tissue, which is why they're regulated and why smugglers still see them as valuable cargo.